Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I just watched Delirium, which is the Lamberto Bava version, not the one with the guy from that 70s show. This is the one from the 80s. The movie opened up with a lot of boobs, I'm going to be honest. It just, it's a lot of still pictures, and then it goes to a photo shoot. The movie's main character is Gloria, who is a retired model who ended up coming into a magazine called Pussycat, if that gives you any idea of what kind of magazine it is, from her late husband who unfortunately passed away in a speedboating accident. We learn about this weird character that lives like right next to her that just perpetually stares at her through a telescope who is confined to a motorized wheelchair who just will call her and say like really uncalled for stuff that would not fly today. So the there's a model in her pool actively getting, you know, shot for a photo shoot, hangs around the house a little bit, ends up trying to leave and go home, and is killed with a pitchfork into her pool. Creepy guy next to her phones Gloria to let her know what's going on, and of course she doesn't believe him. There's no body. So somebody has a huge picture of Gloria from her modeling days, is killing models and people that are very close to her, and posing them in front of the picture, sending them to her, and it is definitely a warning that bad things are coming for Gloria. So this is a very interesting whodunit kind of thing. Um, there's lots of clues that mislead you, lots of clues that maybe you overlooked, but I will leave it there as this is spoiler free my likes. I liked that there were very interesting ways that people were dispatched. I didn't really see the pitchfork coming, like where would they have gotten it from? I guess maybe like the, the shed or whatever. There was a scene with bees that someone used perfume to coat one of the unfortunates. So all the bees would swarm and then sting her to death. Um, the gore was pretty decent. I mean, for the time period, I think it's 87. I'll get the info and put it down below, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't bad. I did like the story. I like movies that kind of keep you guessing and engaged because that's how that works. If you kind of just throw everything out there, it's going to get boring because it's going to be predictable. My dislikes. I can't see all the way, but I could tell that this was dubbed really badly. Which is fine, because at this point, I'd rather listen to something horribly dubbed than not be able to read the subtitles. Personal preference, probably for everyone that's cited, you might have preferred the subtitles rather than this kind of crappy dubbing, but to each their own. Um, I felt like there was a lot of stuff that maybe didn't need to be put in there, but I understand they're building a story, but there was just, it just seemed like... Also, I know it's the era, and I appreciate a good pair of boobs as well, but, like, that's a lot of what this movie was. Just kind of an excuse to get women with gigantic boobs to kind of, ah, oh, and run around. It's fine, but, I mean, like, it felt very obvious, I suppose. So, I give this probably, like, a 2.5 out of 5. I had a good time watching it. I really did like that there was still mystery to it. I thought the concept of the movie was interesting. There aren't a lot of movies, especially horror movie mystery things about uh, widowed models who now own empires, which is cool. I like seeing a woman running an empire, of course. But I watched this on Amazon, Amazon Prime Video. I will find out if it's available, any other streaming services, any physical copies that are possible to buy, and put that down below as well. Give it, give it a watch. It's a fun time. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Like the video if you did. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. I know for this era, this kind of movie was very, very popular. This kind of formula was very popular. What did you think of it? Have you seen it? Have you seen a lot of Bava's other movies? Let me know your thoughts. 
Uh, don't forget to hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, please do so, Reanimator Reviews. And I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, at Reanimator. And have a good delirium time!